Hey, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and in today's video we're going to be discussing how not to get stuck in the middle of an intersection with a tractor trailer. So I'm sure you've been driving a car before and all of a sudden you're trying to pass an intersection and the back end of a, tra of a trailer itself is stuck in the intersection, which means there's no way that you can kind of get through it and now the whole traffic jam happens. So you definitely don't want to be the guy in the tractor trailer causing all this hocus pocus. And if this happens on the CDL road test itself, it's going to be an automatic fail because you are blocking traffic. So let me give you some tips and tricks on how never to get stuck in an intersection, whether you're going for your CDL road test or whether you're going in real life. So this is our intersection here. This is our handy dandy truck. So biggest thing first thing you have to understand is that the, of, of course intersections are going to have a light in them in most cases so that being said you have to understand and when you're driving a tractor trailer the rule of thumb is you sh should always be looking to 12 to 15 seconds ahead of you or if you're driving in the city it should be at least one city block if not more that being said you want to make sure one of the things that you're looking ahead is any traffic lights that are happening because you want to start being able to time to see how long that traffic light has been green or is it going to go red or yellow and so on and so forth. So if you're driving up on an intersection and you're doing the job correctly, which is looking ahead of you and planning everything ahead of you uh, 12 to 15 seconds ahead, now you see all of a sudden you're coming up to an intersection and the light has been green for a very long time and the traffic is kind of slow on the other side so you don't really know what's happening, which means if the light's been green for a long time, as you're approaching the intersection, you want to start slowing down. And at this stop line here, you want to kind of come to a complete, you want to start slowing down. And by the time you get there, if it's been green for a long time, you're going to start seeing yellow and go to red and you want to come to a complete stop. The other time that people get kind of stuck in the intersection is, say that there's a lot of traffic here. It's bumper to bumper traffic. All of a sudden the light, you're stuck in red. There's maybe a car or two in front of you. Uh, the light changes to green, the cars go, the, and then the back end of the car is here. So you decide, hey, I'm frustrated, I'm going to just go behind this car. And all of a sudden, they just move up a little bit, which means now the back end of your trailer is blocking the entire intersection, which is not a fun thing if you're going either in either direction. And again, if you do this on a CDL road test, that's an automatic fail. So, especially for your CDL road test, understand that if you do, cor if you do well on this, you're able to drive for the rest of your life on your road to freedom with your CDL license. However, if you fail your CDL road test, you're gonna to have to come back and do this whole thing all over again. So that being said, you have to kind of use common sense. And what do I mean by common sense? If there's a couple cars in front of you, it's bumper to bumper traffic, I want you to stop at this stop line. If you're stopping at this stop line, even though the light is green, there's nothing wrong with that because the examiner in the car or everybody else will see that there's a whole bunch of traffic in front of you. So there's no, there's no issue there. So now, all, I only want you to pull up when you see enough space for your tractor and trailer to fit into that space. So that means even if you're pulling up like this and you're a little bit over but the cars can kind of go around, I'll let that slide because you're not technically blocking traffic. But you want to make sure there's more than enough space happening in front of you before you actually pull up and commit to that, especially in bumper to bumper traffic. So those are pretty much the two big tips that I have for you. Tip number one is going to be make sure that you're always watching at 15 to 12 seconds ahead of you to start reading those, reading those uh, intersection lights. And then the second step is have some patience. Make sure you give yourself enough time because even in real life, if you're blocking this intersection, a cop can give you a ticket for this because you're blocking way of traffic and now you're just making a bigger mess for everybody and no one can move around. So if you like this, Make sure you hit the like button on this video, subscribe to our channel. We always love growing our audience. And we, one thing that we love even more than that is helping people get on the road to freedom. So if you, if you want to get yourself on your road to freedom, you want to learn tips like this and how to pass your CDL road test at the same time, you got to come to the best driving school in the entire country, and that's here at Driving Academy. We're located in Linden, New Jersey currently, and we're here to help a million people get on the road to freedom. What does freedom mean to us? It means that you're going to have choices. Now, in this economic planet that we have, the only way to have choices is to put money in your pocket. So we're going to give you the skills that you need to be able to drive big tractor trailers like I showed you before so you can start making some big bucks. Now, what are some big bucks? An average truck driver makes about $75,000 a year on average, and it just keeps going from there. We have some students who decided to open up their own, own trucking companies, and they're making a couple hundred grand a year 
with their truck or now they're expanding to multiple trucks depending on how long they've been in the game. So if you want to know any of that information itself, give us a call 908-525-3609 or take a virtual school tour at cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. We're open up seven days a week, which means we could fit any kind of training schedule that you do have. And all you need to get started is $500 down. So give us a call 908-525-3609. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.